Jesus was crucified because they said he claimed to be God, but they were blind to it, just like in these days. During the Last Supper, just after washing the disciples' feet, Jesus made the stunning statement. John 13, 13 You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. The New Testament was originally written in Greek. The Greek word for Lord is kurios, meaning God, supreme in authority. Jesus was making the potent point that they were to follow the example, serving one another, set by God himself. Later that evening, he reiterated his claim by saying to Philip, John 14, 9, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Zechariah 2.11 And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto thee. The Father is God outside of a physical human body, while the Son is God within a human physical body. John 1.18 no man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. The Father is the creator of all things, the Son is the redeemer of all things, and the Holy Spirit is the sustainer of all things. The Trinity is not a division of God into three parts. God is one but exists in three parts like a man has three parts, mind, body, and soul. The name YHVH never appears in the New Testament since it's a Hebrew word and the text was written in Greek. Philippians 2 to 5, 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. John 5.22 For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. The King James Bible teaches that the Father, God, judges no man, but has bestowed power and authority to the Son, Jesus. The Son does the judging, not the Father. Matthew 16, 27. For the Son of Man, Jesus, shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. The Son of Man, Jesus, is coming in the glory of his Father, God, to reward mankind for his good works. This encompasses every aspect of our thinking and conduct before God. The Christian's good works are rooted in Jesus and have cosmic purposes that God ordained before the world began. Jesus was so humble, obedient, tender and innocent and never sinned. Muhammad from the Quran sinned and many times. Jesus never forced anyone to follow him never killed or caused wars to spread his message, unlike Muhammad who killed people in the name of God to spread his directive. Jesus never owned a slave, never married, never took wealth by force and performed countless miraculous miracles, showcasing the glory of his Father. Revelation 22, 20 He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. 
The book of Revelation is knowledge revealed directly to the heart by the Spirit of God. It was revealed by the Father and written down by the Apostle John on the island of Patmos. A metaphysics of Patmos is a spiritual practice and straining after sanctity against the violence of mankind. It is a metaphysics of the conversion of desire's violence to Christ's non-violence, expressed, mediated and tested in love of thy neighbour. We know from scripture that God the Father is spirit, meaning he doesn't exist in physical form. So there is no physical substance to God the Father. The creation cannot experience the Father as he truly is, since we are bound to a physical dimension, yet he is not physical. The Holy Spirit is likewise spirit only and therefore invisible. He can only be known by observing his work in the creation. Jesus is the only member of the Godhead who takes on physical form, who is responsible for creating all things physical. All things were made by and through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the image of the invisible God created physical to dwell with man with a veiled incarnate deity. Jesus is both the source of all creation and the word of the Godhead into that creation. God spoke the world into existence while Jesus made all things, Logos, or God's spoken word. God's thoughts were formed into a physical reality by Jesus the Word, who brought all things into being, and now the Spirit of God ministers to the creation after its formation. The spoken word is the physical manifestation of God's inner creative thoughts. Humans have a spoken word, which is the physical manifestation of invisible thoughts and personality. John 13, 3, 4 Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God, and went to God, he riseth from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girded himself, Philippians 2, 6, 11. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Surah 4.157 Quran That they said in boast, We killed Christ Jesus the Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah. But they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them and those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no certain knowledge, but only conjecture to follow, for of a surety they killed him not. English translation, Yusuf Ali. Firstly, we must say, Jesus wasn't killed according to the Quran or crucified. Islam denies that Jesus' crucifixion ever took place. This is the most widely believed, yet other Islamic scholars beg to differ. If Jesus was never crucified and Allah disguised a man on the cross to look like Jesus, this is basically trickery or deception. Is Allah a divine trickster? Surah 547 Ayah al-Ma'idah, the table the table spread 547, so let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it. And those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are truly the rebellious. Let the followers of the gospel judge according to what God has revealed in it. The Bible has not been corrupted and the Quran teaches that. 
Allah commands Christians to judge by the gospel, not the Quran, and teaches we are rebels if we don't. Clearly, we can only judge by the gospel if we actually have the true gospel uncorrupted. The Quran teaches we still have reliable scriptures. If we obey Allah and judge by the scriptures, Islam has to be wrong, as the Quran contradicts the gospel and the deity of Christ. The gospel says Jesus died on the cross, yet the Quran denies this, which one should we listen to? The Quran orders us to judge by the gospel, so we have to reject the Quran. Revelation 22, 13, Jesus speaking. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. In the book of Revelation, Jesus says I am Alpha and Omega, which are titles of God alone. Revelation 21, 6, 7, God speaking. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. God the Father's name Jehovah is mentioned exactly seven times in the King James Bible. Word, capitalized W, is mentioned seven times. Holy Spirit is mentioned seven times in the King James Bible. As in John 5, 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. In the King James Bible, the Father is 218 mentions, the Word in 469 mentions, Holy Ghost, a 90 mentions, total 777. In Matthew 1, the angel of the Lord delivers the news that Jesus has been conceived by the Holy Ghost. Combined, angel of the Lord Lord and angel of God are mentioned in 77 verses. The Father's voice from heaven referred to Jesus as his beloved Son. Matthew 3.17, and lower voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Beloved Son, capitalized S, is mentioned seven times. The 77th mention of Jesus immediately precedes the moment in Scripture where Jesus is revealed by the Father as the Christ, the Son of the living God in Matthew 16:16, 16, 16, which is the first mention of the Christ and seventh mention of Christ. In fact, there are seven words between the seventh mention of Christ and the 77th mention of Jesus. The 77th mention of Jesus is the revelation to Peter that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah of the Jews. Son plus God, capitalized S and G, are mentioned together in the same verse 77 times of the New Testament. All mentions of all forms of Jesus when referring to Jesus Christ, 980. All mentions of all forms of Christ when referring to Jesus Christ, AIN 574. Total mentions of Jesus, Christ A 777, 777. Colossians 2 9. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. What is God's breath? The DNA is composed of four elements, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, when put together, form YHWG. Carbon is what makes us physical and earthly beings. When carbon is replaced with nitrogen, we have all colorless, odorless, and invisible gases. Keyword, invisible. They form letters YHWH, which is the name of God. 
that is the breath of God. Who breathed life into Adam? God breathed hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. It's written without vowel diacritics that are seen as dots and dashes, which young children learning Hebrew need to learn the right word in context, because as an adult there are no diacritics and a combo of letters can mean several different words if you don't have context. Hebrew readers are very literate and smart, because they have to basically scan entire phrase or even sentence in advance to know what the likely word will be and pronounce it correctly. The King James Bible contains zero errors. It is the final book prophesied in Isaiah 34, 16. The book of the Lord, containing the pure and inspired words of God, it's tough to ignore three billion perfectly sequenced DNA letters proves intelligent design. More proof for the accuracy of the Bible exists than proof of what is written about Homer, Plato, Aristotle, Caesar or Tacitus combined.